Good morning everyone. Today I'm in the Northern Cape in South Africa. I'm in the Karoo hunting mountain zebra. Please enjoy it with me. I've had a drought for at least seven years here in the Northern Cape and that would be the reason also why it's so important to, to cull um, animals that, that is excessive in numbers to protect the habitat. Guys, this is what mountain zebra manure looks like. It's kidney shape and it's like it looks here as well. It's just a little smaller. You can make it open. It's not fresh, obviously. You find the grass in here for vegetation. At least a day or, or grazers, similar to other zebras. Guys, here's a mountain zebra track. Can you see that just for size? Here's my uh, 243 Winchester um, cartridge so I think that size would probably be around 4 inches in length In South Africa we have two species of zebra we have the mountain uh, zebra and we have the plains species I just spotted um, a group of 5 um, mountain zebra what we're going to do now is we're going to go right back to the back of this ridge and then try to, to walk upwind a little bit and then flank uh, sideways and um, see if we can get behind the, the ridge where the, the zebra is currently standing on watching us. It's five sets of eyes looking at us and then there's another at least five or six springbuck that's also grazing in that area so it makes it a little bit more complicated but that's what some things about it's not supposed to be easy What an absolute privilege it was to be able to have hunted Hartmann zebra in its natural habitat in the northern Cape Karoo. Despite that, the shot didn't go 100% as planned. I compensated for a full value of wind and end of the day this wind was probably only about 30 degrees. So I hit the zebra right in the eye, on the inside edge of the eye, where I actually expected it would drift uh, probably another 2 inches. Despite that, I've got my zebra, it's going to make a beautiful skin and this memory I will cherish forever. Just have a look at the moves of this um, art one zebra. The um, front hooves is a little bit wider and the rear hooves a little bit um, thinner. It's about 4 inches. There's a few things that distinguishes the, the art fun or mountain zebra from the plains or virtual zebra. One of those is, is the dew flap which you found on the art fun zebra but not on the virtual plain zebra. Something else, the stripes, the lines on the uh, art fun zebra stops here. It doesn't extend further so it's got a white belly and in between the lines there's no shadow lines either on the Hartmann zebra like what you will find on the virtual zebra. Thank you for watching my vlog. If you enjoyed my hunting trip and you want to see more trips like this one, please subscribe to my channel.